Good morning. All right, so this is um, an introduction to our next um, benchmark unit. And this is unit nine, and the title of it is Resources and Their Impact. Um, resources are the things that a place has. Um, it could be a city, town, country, um, continent, whatever. Um, but it's uh, resources are the things that a place has that make that place important um could be sunshine could be the ocean um definitely could be oil um could be a type of plant that it can be grown in a particular area um, like uh, coffee in south america and in hawaii um, and so the things that a place has becomes its resources and so as we move through the lessons um, we're going to be answering the question, how does access to resources influence people's lives? Um, and so depending on where a person lives and the resources that that place has, what does that do to people? Um, and how does it make them different? So um, that's kind of the, the question that we'll be looking at. The first story that we'll look at is... Um, uh, about the town of Seattle and the ups and downs that it has faced. Um, number one resource being lumber. Um, then we have a short read about um, Cesar Chavez and also Dolores Huerta. Um, these are two individuals that were migrant farmers in California. Um, and California, one of California's resources is its incredible fertile valley that allows um, many, many types of crops to be created. And so these resources affected Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta um, and many other um, Spanish people. Uh, and it created unfairness. And so resources began affecting people negatively. Um, in the lives of Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta. Um, moving on, um, we also have um, the natural resources throughout the entire United States um, and um, California as well. What are the resources that we have in California? So that's another piece that we will be reading about. Um, and we also have uh, resources. Um, we have John Henry, um, a tall tale about um, John Henry's life. And, you know, he himself became a resource. Humans, people can be resources. Um, this is Out of the Dust. This is a tale of um, the um, middle of the United States of America, places like Oklahoma, Nebraska, and the Dust Bowl that was created. Their number one resource was farmland. And they scraped that farmland so much that there was no soil to keep the dust away. And so as a result, when the winds and storms came, um, there was no nice fertile soil to keep that dust down and it created what they call a dust bowl. Um, if you've ever seen the movie Interstellar, um, there is uh, a representation of what a dust bowl or living in a dust bowl might be like. Um, and so uh, again, this is our next benchmark unit. Um, so that was supposed to be a very quick intro there. Today, our topic is going to be um, cause and effect. Okay, so effect being what happened and cause being why it happened. And so I would like to go over the Seattle Up and Down and Up Again article, these two pages, number four and five, and locate some cause and effects. Um, so what I'll do first here is kind of go over um, our signal words, right? What are these clue words that are going to help us understand where there's going to be a cause or an effect um, when we are reading a passage out loud? Um, the, you know, really the, the clue words um, could be because, 
Okay, and so these are some of the more uh, uh, prevalent or the signal words that you're going to see most often. Does it necessarily mean that we're going to see it in our activity today? Not necessarily, um, but these are examples of cause and effect signal words to trigger in your mind that, oh, I'm about to read a cause and effect situation. Um, the word as, uh, and, since is another one. Um, there are, let's see, um, so is going to introduce an effect. Um, we also have um, our transition words like therefore, consequently. Consequences can be positive or negative. Um, we also have things like, like prepositions. Um, due to is a, a phrase that is sort of uh, a signal word or signal phrase. Um, and because of is another one. So that's a good signal word starter kit. That's, um, that's, that's what's coming to mind um, right now. So due to, because of, consequently, therefore, so, because, as, and, since. Um, are all going to be um, clue words that are going to help us understand a cause and effect scenario. So let's take a look. Um, I am going to do three of them. Um, before we proceed, before you proceed, make sure that you have read Seattle up and down and up again. <clears throat> so looking at paragraph number one, uh, American cities have gone through many economic changes over the course of history. That means that sometimes they got a lot of money, sometimes they don't have any money. Um, some have experienced rapid growth due to new industries and technologies. Right there, actually, we have one of our phrases. Some have experienced rapid growth due to our signal word to help us understand um, that there is a cause and effect situation going on here. It's actually a signal phrase, and that's due to, okay? Due to new industries and technologies. Well, new industries and technologies are the cause. New industries and technologies. And what did those new industries and technologies do? Well, they helped to provide Seattle with an experience of rapid growth. Um, so the effect of that is rapid growth. People are moving, um, money is being made, uh, resources are being used, businesses are being created. Um, so rapid growth would, um, would lend itself to things like that. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go down to paragraph number two. Today, Seattle is famous for its high-tech companies, such as Microsoft and Amazon. But when Seattle was established in the 1850s, its economy was supported by a lumber mill. Lumberjacks cut logs, and the lumber from those logs was shipped to help build a booming San Francisco. So there is another cause and effect scenario. And we used, um, really, we used the word and. Okay, so the conjunction and is um, signaling to us that we have a cause and effect scenario going on. So what happened? Well, lumberjacks cut logs. And when those lumberjacks cut those logs, those logs were shipped to San Francisco. Francisco to help build the city. Okay, logs shipped to San Francisco to help build the city. Okay, um, let's do one more and then I'll leave the last three in the bottom portion for you. 
Um, let's look at paragraph number three. When the railroads arrived in the 1880s, Seattle's population grew quickly. Um, looking down here at the last sentence, Seattle even rebuilt after a serious fire damaged much of its business district. Two cause and effect scenarios in here. Um, we have um, the first sentence, when the railroads arrived in the 1880s, Seattle's population grew quickly. Um, we have a signal word here at the beginning, okay? That, that word, when, okay? When something happens, this will occur. So when the railroads arrived, When the railroads arrived, what happened? Po Seattle's population grew quickly. Seattle's population grew quickly. Okay. Cause and effect. Um, down here at the bottom, uh, we have to choose two effects of Seattle's lumber mills. Um, because Seattle had lumber mills, what happened? Okay, um, I will leave that one up for you to do. And please send emails if you boys and girls have any questions. All right, everybody, you guys take care and we will be talking at you very soon. All right, bye.